1. Try the Easy Connect switch. 2. Recharge it. 3. Turn off precise mode. 4. Reduce the distance to the unifying receiver. 5. Clean the gunk out of the sensor. Hello, your trackball mouse is not working or working badly. Well, 90% of the time you need to clean it, but there are also four other possible reasons. 1. Did you accidentally click the button below the scroll wheel? If the 2 is blinking, press it and it should become a solid 1 and then turn off, or vice versa. That button is for switching between the unifying receiver and Bluetooth. I never thought I would use it, but I actually do for my desktop and my laptop. 2. When was the last time you charged it? Supposedly the power LED will blink red or orange if the battery is low, but somehow in my memory it blinks green. Anyways, just connect a micro USB cable to the PC or to a charger and keep using it while it charges. If the trackball won't work without being connected, the battery might be dead. You will have to take it to a shop for replacement of a battery or simply cuff up the dineros for a new trackball mouse. 3. Is the LED on the side solid white? That means that precision mode is on, which is extra slow by design. Press the button to turn it off. 4. Is there something blocking the signal between the unifying receiver and the trackball mouse? Use a USB extension cord to shorten the distance to the wireless connection dongle to eliminate obstructions. 5. Is the sensor full of gunk? Better turn it off so your presses don't do anything on your computer. First up, remove the base plate. Secondly, take out the ball carefully using a non-scratchy end of a pen, a non-scratchy end of a pencil, a chopstick, the eraser at the end of a pencil. Nobody owns such a pencil anymore. Chopstick and a face mask? A Euro electric plug? For the love of Douglas Engelbart, do not use scissors. A Q-tip works too. Thirdly, use a Q-tip to clean out the gunk. You can also dip it in isopropanol, aka cleaning alcohol, first. If no Q-tips are available, of course you can improvise with tissues. If you happen to have some compressed air, you can use that too. Fourthly, you can scratch out resilient gunk with a toothpick. And while you're at it, why not scratch the gunk between the button segments as well? You'll feel so much nicer about it. And while you're at that, why not clean the surface with isopropanol and a tissue as well? It works great and it will be so much cleaner after. Look at all that dirt. All you gotta do now is wipe off that ball good and jam it back in there. Put on the base plate and turn on the mouse. Now you get to enjoy the smoothness that only sanitized balls can provide. Enjoy.